<clears throat> Alright, I test. Video, okay. And we're back! I'm gonna be drafting some more Kaldheim. Come street. Well, nobody yet. Sure, some people will come to keep the company. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, let's go. Let's dive in. I kind of want to get into some kind of non-snow archetypes. Probably something with white. I think wh white is the least commonly used snow archetype. Uh, in snow decks. Pro the problem with snow archetypes is you keep having to fight over... <coughs> fight over uh, the snow cards. The snow lands. What about white green? That seems fun. Love me some infernal pep. Frostbite. No, snow. That one was a wrath. No, kind of a wrath. Tiny wrath. Wrath. The chat is with. Interesting. Okay. okay. Wow, this looks fairly good. I think we'll take the rare. Eh, actually, this feels like it's better. Rare draft. Rare drafter! Hello, viewer number one. Welcome to the stream. How you do it? This is actually not very impressive. I mean, but after the fourth saga, you have to, after the third step will have given you four one ones so it's a go white thing okay so this works really well with the, our saga White green uh, uncommon saga is fairly good. Something about exiling the creature uh, with highest power your opponent. Vega the Watcher. Boat. I feel like um, you should always have space for at least one boat. I'll get lifelink. That's our removal in this format. But if we're white green, like fight, there's two fight spells. Oh, and one is snow dependent. Star, and I think there's some kind of pacifist. Mahina mic mo compared to the in-game sound. We test. Hello? Is that better? Actually, these little uh, bar graphs tell me it's fine.
I mean, if I get this, I'm getting it just for the 5-4 body. Invoke the Define is fine main deck. We could also get the Troll, but I don't intend on getting Snowlands. So let's just get this 5. Okay, Colossal Plow. Okay, that's going to be fun. My spam. There's a spammer. Good job, MTG bot. Good bot. We got this. We might as well get the ox. I mean, the crew cost of this is ridiculous. But, um... If you get one attack out of this, it's already so good. I feel like random flyers are so ridiculous in this format, even if it's just a 1-2, I'll play it. Is there a go-wide payoff? I think I'd rather have the second Master Skull than the first rootless, ro rootless U. Scent of the Worthy. Oh, there's our ox to man the plow. They totally knew what they were doing, these two cards. Okay, so there's the go wide payoff. One of those should be fine to foretell it. This is fine main deck, I guess. It's cuttable. Oop, we got a boat. Okay, we have two equipment, so that's plenty. Boat, boat, boat. Okay, we got to invoke the divine anyway. If we get like broken wings, that's better. Shepherd is the correct pick. Oh, nice. Huh. I, I guess this one is still correct. We need more 2 drops for the Shepherd of the Cosmos to reanimate anyway. Okay, Iron Verdict. I wouldn't object to getting a pick or this Outrider. Okay, I'm not going to get the second plow, that's ridiculous. Okay, this is this mana fixing is a me. I don't I don't want to have three vehicles. That seems too many. Okay, so that's uh, removal. Well, removal. Oop. We actually don't have much green. Oh, okay. Spell land or removal. 
it feels like removal is correct. I would have liked spell land though. Okay, what are we doing? It's so weird not having so many lands. The downside is I'm going to have to cut more cards. I'm cutting this ruthless seed. I mean, I'll I I'd keep either Arachnoform or Spectral Steel. Spectral Steel has the advantage that you can recycle it to get back a pacifism. Divine Gambit! This isn't too bad like late in the game when they don't have many cards in hand. It's still super dumb. I'll put it in the sideboard. Well, okay. It's super dumb. Basically, they get to play a card for free. It's super dumb, but it's slightly less dumb when they have less cards in hand. Obviously, when they have zero cards in hand, it's great. I like how I'm almost mono white. It's ridiculous. Is white underdrafted? Because it feels like many people prefer to play snow. If your splash is green, then you don't need littering frost. Third vehicle. Seriously, why have I... <laughs> Maybe I'll end up playing the Divine Gambit. Oh, Angel or Cleric? There's a Cleric. I'm not super fond of this. Like, it's not great to be a 2 2 for 1 when you need to have cast one other spell before it. Woohoo! Wrath! <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to be total mono white. Trickster God's Heist. Okay, um... I like this because it helps turn on our Righteous Valkyrie. At the same time... This one... Creates a Spirit Token. Spirit Token is a real card. Replicating ring was fun, but you know, if we're mostly ball color, we don't need it. I'm going to end up cutting this battle for Bretagard. Fantastic art. Ok, 
Okay, um... If that ends up being not usable... I mean, at the very least, it's a rare draw. Wow, mono white. Imagine that. Divine Gambit! Rare Grafting! Shepherd is so great. Is it permanent card? Oh, permanent card. So it can get back the plow, it can get back the boat, it can get back the spectral steel. Actually, have anything to get? Just rare drafting again. It can get no permanent legendary card or a saga card. It's okay to put this one in if if we had uh, the pick. Don't have the pick. Let's get a second ox to increase our chances of. Getting the ox plus plow winning. Gawin mo pa lang Yu-Gi-Oh! May speech kada spell later. I don't, I don't really know how Yu-Gi-Oh! works. I will not allow you to hurt my monster. Swords of Revealing Light! Oh man. What if I get known as the streamer who does... These weird speeches. Okay, wow. Oh boy, vault progress. Okay. So we're not going to play six forests just for this aura. Uh, not even an aura. We don't need you either. Cutting two cards. Okay. Not like you. Um, the code spell cleric. I guess he's better if you have more second spell triggers, but he's the only one I. I... So all this extra life gain will help us turn on our um, our righteous Valkyrie. I'm actually okay going um, uh, 17 out of 41 here because we're not going to have color issues. Okay. Why it was so open? Okay, so. Uh, Not my screenshots for, but this is Kaldheim Draft 05. Okay. Let's see where this takes us. The thing about playing one color versus two color versus three colors is 
obviously, one monocolor is super consistent. But you only have access to cards of one color. Three colors and up is a lot more risky. But higher upside, I guess. Okay, um... We can go turn two boot, turn three ox. If we draw land, we'll go... Uh, I think boat still. Boat, then courser. So, are you ready to ride the funeral longboat? See, it sounds ridiculous when I do it. Forcer is great, giving us a bunch of discounts, a couple of discounts. Hello, foretell some more, okay. Okay, uh... Okay, it's correct to play Corsair since that makes our future turns better. So he might have that foretell 5 damage thing. He did not. Oh, I forgot to make some speech for it. Like, I summon you, Starnheim Courser! I, I feel like I'm not getting the Yu Gi Oh flavor, whatever that means. Okay, so second spell. Oh my god. Oh boy. This is a colossal plow. Okay, we'll do this. Let's do this because that one is alright. So we'll gladly trade with this Doomscar Oracle. So we, we can play both vehicles next turn. Lot of colors about my vehicles. I think it's typically... Um, it's typically an artifact thing, so these are artifacts. Any color can play them. Alright, so... I'm not sure if there have been colored vehicles. Uh, the plow generates white mana, so obviously it's better in a white deck, but it's not necessary to be in a white deck. Okay. Be afraid of my colossal plow. Are no context. <laughs> okay, so this is this is gonna be great. Let's activate the plow. Powered by my giant ox, go forth, colossal plow.
So I... Wait, what? Why can't I play this? Oh wait, okay, not yet. Uh to me. Shepherd gets back the plow. Macho pala. <laughs> That's right. You dare stand in the way of my colossal plow? Warhorn Blast! I'm having fun for some reason. Well, I'm always having fun if I'm winning. Okay, so I'm not triggering this one. I'm not going to read that out loud. already done all my stuff for today maybe I can do two drafts today okay this one is fine we have a couple of things to do if we don't draw the third land do the third land Oh, nice. This is one of the better second spell dudes. I like this one and that imp. Go forth and seek out the epic story seeker. Uh, this one? Oh, seems better to foretell. I can't crew this boat next turn anyway. Nice! Alright. Uh... Okay, I'm not going to do the ridiculous voices anymore. Well, maybe a little. But like, I, I don't know what to do for something like this Raider's car. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. So, I believe Bound and Gold can turn you off. Alright.
nice. So... The thing about the second spell mechanic is, as you keep playing cards, so you're not going to be able to trigger them continuously. Since you're going to run out of cards, I guess it's better if it was paired with blue. Okay, so next turn, I think we can do Master Scald first, getting back the plow. Okay. Didn't matter. I didn't get to say good game. Oh, we're going to get. We might get to gold this session, seems likely. Nice. We can actually foretell Doom Scar on two. Uh, I guess it depends on what he has on two. If he doesn't have anything, I'll be more aggressive with the Story Seeker. If he leads with a creature, I'll foretell Doom Scar. Those green things floating about above the story seeker's head. Okay, I guess we're going aggressive. That's going to be annoying. Since he's still going to be gaining life. Alright. Gladly trade with you.
nice. So the problem with this plow is sometimes it's just going to sit there and be sad. Life link. All right, he's almost out, so I'll do this. So we can use the spectral steel to recycle our pacifism. Or I could just get the spectral steel again. And in the plow, we can cast the spectral steel. Wow, sudden turnaround. Nice. This mono white deck is great. Well, I only say that when I'm winning. Three and O. Is tonight a night? It's definitely a night. Okay, uh, am I going first? I didn't check. Oh no! This guy might be down in Africa. I think I'll do Fortel or two. Oh no, how fearless. Next turn we can do Ox and... Oh, we can't do both. Chose not to boast.
The important thing about playing this potential 4-4 four four is it stops him from attacking with both both the both of the boosters. I'll gladly trade the boat for his braggart. Oh, he still attacked with them both anyway. Uh-huh. Yep, let's do this. This is this one is a long term threat, so we prefer to trade with it now. I mean look at him, he's like a dwarf warrior with a huge rock. And then Oh, uh, he's gonna beat up my boat. Oh well. Okay, I would have put the plus one plus one counter because long term that's better. And I won't be able to trigger that second spell again. have a trick oh okay I'll trade both of my dudes for one of your pup one of my dudes for one of your pup right so he just gave up the pup Oh wow, nice. So we're doing terribly. Renobok is a pretty great trick. This format. Both of these are good. I didn't get any wings. Wings is really only good for the flying. Oh, that's one of the better boosters. Kind of on the back foot, so I left my raptor behind to block. It can block the fearless pup with no problem. Okay, I'll take the two for one. Okay, I'm not sure he, that if he realizes that my dude has first strike. Or maybe he just wants to activate the ability. Sure. Hey, easy user! Welcome to the stream! Uh huh. What's this deck light? Oh, I managed. Oh, there's 
a lot of you. I, okay, so I'm currently sitting at 3 three zero, three zero, and I managed to draft Mono White, which is amazing. Okay, so... Uh... I think I'll take this and we can kill this pup because of our war horde blast. Standing is 3 and 0. Oh. So we're going to be taking extra that we're we're going to be taking 5 from the braggart. Oh, this was a mistake. I should have blocked the braggart with the raptor. Oh well. Yes, I was able to get the plow for the ox. I, I, I'm sure someone will post... <laughs> uh, what do you call this? Post a clip of me <laughs> say, shouting colossal plow later. Okay, so we'll take the four. So we're kind of ah. Okay, so we're kind of on the back foot. Wow, there's the plow. <laughs> too little, too late. You can see the ox driving the plow next game. And look, I got my first loss as soon as you joined the stream. I'm not saying that means anything. I'm just pointing out the facts. Okay, we are 3 and 1. Let's go. My comments, he cry. What did he say? Okay, um... This is okay. We have a couple of two drops and we can, uh... Foretell the wrath. Okay, do we want to block or do we want to attack with the long boat? Block. Uh, you have to lose some for the stream content. What? Okay, let's play this Valkyrie. I don't have rage moments. That's not something I do. Not a ragey person. I said I'm not. Okay, Vega the Watcher. Oh wow. Okay. Activate the boat. Wait. Okay. 
Okay. Uh... Oh wow! Did he attack for no reason? Did he not realize I had the boat? Oh wow! It was an attack for no reason. What is the flavor of an ox driving a boat? Hello? <laughs> Have you never seen an ox driving a boat before? I'll do it again! Can't you imagine like there's a river and then the ox is in the water pulling this boat for a funeral? It's a funeral long boat. Cry your scry. It's a boat, it has mass, it deals damage. Okay, I I can trade the boat, then get back the boat. So that's not that's fine. Oh wow, he didn't trade the boat. going on did you have a stroke all right obviously a wrath all right so uh, we can use this to get back our pacifism. Bye-bye, uh -huh. Ox! Then the boat can still attack. Yes, you can't... Yung Fortel has to be... You, the foretold card can only be cast on your succeed, on succeeding turns. It can be the enemy turn if it's an instant. It has to be a later turn. Kind of like Echo. No, not really. But okay, maybe. Nice. Behold! Behold the colossal plow. Okay, um, if I don't do my pacifism, I'm going to take six. I can afford to take six. I kind of want to let him overcommit into my wrath. So I'm just going to foretell one more. Hopefully, I don't die. Alright, he's being careful with his mana because he wants to cast a bunch of things. Oh no, I, I exiled the ox. I can't get it back with the Shepherd of the Cosmos. Alright, let's attack with this dude. Oh, 
Oh, I just realized. Um, he has blue, so I might die to permission. <laughs> yeah, if he has that counter spell, we're 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 kind of dead. I I should have thought of that before attacking. No, he did not! <laughs> Behold! The multiverse! Doom Scar! So um, this character on the Behold the Multiverse art is uh, one of the new planeswalkers, Nico something. Um, the design of this character reminds me of Gary Oldman from like the Fifth Element. Okay, 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 okay. What are we doing? What are we doing? Is there a two we can get back? There's not. I shouldn't have exiled the ox, that was my bad. Okay, I I I feel like I'm going to wear the spectral steel. No no, let's turn off this 3-2. Then let's attack for three. Right, you have a trick, plus one, plus three. Predictably. Alright, now the Shepherd of the Cosmos can get back to the boat. Oh, wow, nice! I lost. Should have stayed behind to block. I haven't won a game since two of you came on. <laughs> I'm just saying. But I'm not raging. Okay, we're at three and two. Okay, uh, maybe I should have been more conservative with my life. I'm kidding. I enjoy your company. I appreciate. Uh, I appreciate the audience. Yes, it was my bad. I exiled the ox. Okay, I admit. How does the ox power the plow? Hard, giant ox. Okay, um, we can foretell here, we can play the plow, we can, I think it's better to play the plow first in case we draw an ox. He pulls, yes he pulls the one. Okay, what are you? Okay. Man, I thought I was going to be able to win when I was able to pull off the Doom Scar.
So he's stuck at two land, so that's good for us. Okay, uh huh. Do this. Still doesn't have a safe attack. This. Okay, we can attack with the plow. I'm okay to attack with the plow. I can plow, plow, plow. I can get it back later. Nah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Plow. I think it's plow. Okay, it's weird that he didn't trade the two tokens for it. Alright. Getting the three extra mana from the plow. 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 See? I was right, right? Plow. It's, it's such a big deal. Such a big tempo boost. So even if the plow dies, it's okay. He, he just gave up. He was stuck on two mana, so it's a terrible situation for for him. I'm sorry, Easy User, you haven't been able to see the ox pull the plow. I swear, I I wasn't doubting the the pronunciation of plow during the first three games. I feel like I've been saying it so much. You know that thing where if you say a word too much, it starts to feel strange. How do you get the plow back? I have uh, two Master Skulls. So Master Skull can get back artifacts or enchantments. Or the Shepherd of the Cosmos. So I have three ways to get the plow back. For tell, eh? Two can play that game. Okay, that's just rude. I really want there to be an emote that's like rude. No traps are like Yu Gi Oh's trap cards. Okay, now I can't play anything, which is dumb. I think he's uh, possibly color screwed. It looks like both of us are color screwed, but I'm actually only monocolor. Alright, so... Okay, so he's gonna hit me for one. Or gain one, if he, will, if he likes. Why not Master Skull? Because we don't have anything to get back from the graveyard, so... We're, we're kind of wasting... The... The thing. The ability. I'd play it if I were like in a pinch and needed a blocker, but I'm not, so. Oh, he just gained one life. There you go. There you go. Alright, time for some cosmos.
Rude. I kind of don't want to give him a treasure. Fine, you can have a treasure. I'm so going to destroy that pick. for my trap elf cleric wielding a pickaxe my pickaxe mining just like in wow okay so he saved this bird cruelly executing my storyteller do I have Put this here so that he blocks the dogs. Then we can blow through him with a Warhorn Blast. Otherwise that ox is just going to ground up our, gump, our ground game until forever. You dare stand in my way? Take this! Warhorn Blast! Sorry. Oh man! So many tricks. Josiah was telling me earlier I should be adding like uh, Yu Gi Oh like voiceovers when, when I cast things. I was watching. Um, what do you call this? I was. Yes, we can master scald next turn. We're totally going to do that. I, w I was watching. What do you call this? Gurin Lagan earlier on Netflix. And like. That kind of. Like. Uh, declaration is so on point for Gurren Lagan. Oh, not another pick. Oh wow. Yeah, League Hero attacks always increases the damage. Oh, he is so brave. It would have been cooler if he like after I shouted out uh, Warhorn Blast, he responded with something like, Oh yeah? You think you've got me? Take this! Feed the Serpent! Okay... I'm tempted to just give this guy because... I don't want to die to some random tricks. <laughs> There's no point in you attacking, the Ox is still there. Uh... 
He makes an ox sound when he comes down. Oh wow. Do you have removal for my... Okay, uh, if I had to guess... It's Iron Verdict. If I had to guess he foretold Iron Verdict... Uh, we kind of have to walk into it. Oh, it's not. Okay. Okay, he kept two on top, so, uh, man. Alright. I guess I can master Skull. If he doesn't have a third blocker and he still attacks with the Pegasus, I can put the Spectral Steel on the Ox. Then just chump attack. No! Oh! We are in peril. Our draft is about to end. Well, we have a bunch of outs. We could draw Doom Scar or either of the two pacifisms. But no! We drew the Colossal Plow! I'm sorry, easy user. <laughs> uh, it's terrible. We're ending our run early. It's because I was too loose with my lance earlier. Uh, with my life total. But they are just for you. I activated the plow. So sad. Yes, I still drove the plow. Okay, so we went 4-1. Uh, it, it wasn't bad. But it could have been better. Like, definitely the second loss was avoidable. If I had just been more uh, careful. And less aggressive. Okay. Was Kaldheim draft 5 result? Um, I, I'm feeling like it's still early. So I feel like doing one more. You guys can stick around if you like. So this today will be a two draft episode. And I still have a black or green quest. Oh you're out, easy user. I'm going to go again. I've got time. Oh it's fine. Don't have to pay full attention. <laughs> you got to sleep. What time is it over there down under? Is it It's like 11:30 now, I I think. Okay, so Thor Ralph is the Thor equivalent equivalent. Uh
Okay, I guess I'm just getting the mythic rare. TIL, what did you TIL? That he is in a in a faraway land. Oh, we can do red blue. I've never been red blue. We'll need snowlands for like this tapper. Okay, we can try red blue. Colossal plow. Okay, I'm not doing that again. Okay, maybe I'll get... Maybe I'll be green. This is a really good common. Other choices there were the pick. Or something else. Okay, a uh, glimpse the cosmos is super good. Why do I feel like I'm going down the snow route again? Well, which is fine. I have fun with snow. Search for glory. I'm thinking either run amok or run ashore. So, or r either running to the beach or amok. It's good. With the current picks, we can still be either blue or blue-red. I guess Glimpse is better in the blue-red deck. No, actually it's okay with blue-green also because of the changeling. Okay, this card is kind of fun because it's like a surprise. Attacker. It's not a surprise blocker, it's a surprise attacker. Okay, let's get that. There wasn't anything else really in the pack for us anyway. Okay, uh, I, I think we're getting bounce. Uh, like playing this one. This is like an inferior. Well, no, it's okay. Why do I feel like black might have been open? Uh, oh boy. Baragoth, the bloody sire. Chutor. Okay, I'm going to get this and see if any other good black cards come down from the other side. Okay, 
Okay, this one is okay, but it needs a lot of snow to work. I never end up picking red in this format. Oh, this one is a good red card. Maybe I can pick it. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. Uh, unapologetic rare draft. Oh, you can even play it. Oh, boy. Yet another unapologetic <laughs> rare draft. This one actually useful. So we can be major blue, minor, red, or green. It can still be either one at this point. Although green has the better mana support. So I read a tip that. Um, wait. Mail 3, return 2 snow. Okay. So that's graveyard heat. Spell land. Mana fixing. Aggressiveness. We are now some red, weird red, blue, green snow thing. So I read a tip somewhere that you should keep your vault progress above 100% and not crack it so that you always have some in visible indication of what your vault count is. Because otherwise it's hidden, which is dumb. In our two snowlands are gonna tap you down. Inga Rune Ice is like anti um, anti wrath. Not happy with that pick. Not happy with any of these. Get the uncommon. I mean, by not opening, I'm missing out on one mythic and two rare wild cards. But okay, this one. Theme. We, we actually don't have much removal. And we can still cut red, actually. Okay, boat. Boat is not unreasonable. We have something good. Okay. Okay. How many legendary things do we have? This is the newest expansion. Yes. This one is super good, but I'm never in the right combina color combination when it comes around. I guess Demon Bolt is the correct pull here. Although we could use more Snowlands. We'll get Replicating Ring back to our Snow Fixing. Ugh, the 
controls. I mean, we don't really have a heavy snow commitment. Like, we have Frost Peak Yeti and Berg Strider. Those only require one snow thing. Yes, it's uh, it's a Viking-themed set, so you have picked up on that. <laughs> One of these should be fine. So our only actual snow sources are this highland forest and the ring. Ah, feed the serpent. Yes. Might work. Okay, this one's main deckable. a bunch of Give me one more snow land. Oh, I kept this. Okay, I'm not going to play two mammoth groups. Fearless pop. Okay, what are we cutting? Six cars. Okay, we don't need. Like this. The pop is okay, a bit aggressive. I'm leaning towards keeping the Flash Giant for a, some sort of finisher.
Yelt X has non-combat damage. What does the hammer do? Alright, I, I can throw the hammer to deal 3 damage to any target. Oh, okay, that's actually fine. It's like a 4 to cast 3 damage thing that can, you can recur. So it's kind of like provoke the trolls. Except repeatable. Okay, we might not need the bounce. Okay, I feel like we need either the bounce or the broken wings, but not necessarily both. Okay, I might get rid of the pop. It's small. But he can drive the boat. Uh, uh, the Thoralf's hammer and Finn the fang bearer are a pretty good combo. Standing. Still building, still deck building. He's weight. This is our late game thing. Okay, um... Maybe I should just cut this since I don't really have that much snow lands. This one too. So we end up with not a lot of blue actually. Okay, so I, I cut out the snow stuff. Okay, let's see if this works. I'm not confident in this deck. It's a bit it's a lot more shaky than the mono white one. Okay, I'll save a screenshot. Kaldheim draft number six. All right, let's hope for the best. I mean, the fact that it's three colors already puts it on shaky ground. Look, we have all three of our colors. We have all three of our colors. We need the third land to get going. We can foretell the mammoth growth on two. Then hope to draw the third land and firewalk our way into something. Team speak yeti. Alright, we can play Fiery Firewalker. Tuskery, Tuskery. Alright, uh, the thing with Tuskery Firewalker is you're not supposed to play a land before attacking in case the boost ability gives you a land. Did not give us a land. Oops. Now I can't play this boat. Oh well. Alright, I would guess that he's stuck at three la- Oh, it's not. Okay, he's three color. Okay, so that's the sort of dude that you want to kill him immediately. He's not a troll, but I'll provoke him anyway.
find the monster. Blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Okay. If I draw my second blue source, you're in trouble. Yes. Nice. Okay, uh, I'm gonna block. Oh man, mistake! You can cast that! Man, I lost to permission. Well, no. I, I also lost to my monsters being bound. Yep, okay. Let's proceed to the next game. Okay, so we are 0 and 1. At least we are advancing our quest. Once again, we have all our colors, so that's good. We can foretell, packmate, then Horizon Seeker for to get lands. Okay, I guess it's better to foretell Demon Bob. Then foretell pack mate. I'm hoping he plays some kind of
Okay, I think... I think I'm just going to Thor's hammer that dude. Before it grows bigger. Oh, I can't activate it. It's actually six to activate because... Alright. So it, it's not as good as I thought it would be. Mistake. Not reading the cards properly. Oh nice, now I'm going to die. Well, no. It turns out I can do I can. I'll be able to double block block the braggart no matter what. Oh, okay. He doesn't have any good attacks because I can. Uh, if he tries to tap down something, I can activate the boat at instant speed or I can throw the hammer. Okay, tapping down anything that wasn't the wolf was like the worst of both worlds.
Okay, the extra mana and life from the plow isn't that important at this point. I'll trade two creatures for it. I think what we can do now is try to set up a scenario where we draw three cards of rune eyes. If he attacks that is. If we just stare down, then it's fine. Okay. I only have one other legendary. <coughs> oh, there he is. I'm still not super clear on Thoralf's ability. Like when the excess damage happens. Alright. Now I know the exact order that my deck is coming up. Is going to have. So he's hoping to kill me with that. 1-1. One, one. Alright, so my turn. Is that the only card I know? If if I know that one, I should know all of them. Oh, nice. Oh, 
Okay, I'm probably losing this one again. Okay, we have a bouncy bounce. That's bad. Okay, so Colvori puts them back in random order. So I guess I had some other ability that put that let me know what the cards were that were coming. So this is the last turn. I still have a chance to survive because ideally I'm drawing three cards off of Rune Eyes. Well, I don't know if it's a, if it's ideally. I think Torolf changes the math in my favor. Oh wow. Block this one, this one. Oh, non-combat damage, okay. Okay, that was terrible. I wonder if this legendary sub-theme is even viable and limited. Um, my mistake was playing Torolf like uh, creature side up he was better as the hammer all right let's see if we can get a win out of this thing otherwise i just wasted 10,000 gold it's fine
Okay. Uh, this is okay. I should have chosen um Oh okay So take these broken I mean, we're totally going to bounce you. Um, yep, uh, green, I guess. Oh wow. I am actually fine with this except for the pop. This is a common I've never picked. Okay. I'm okay, just attack with both here. Wait, it can become indestructible. Okay, basically no. <laughs> that troll is going to be a problem.
sure. Oh wait, can you kill me? Right, the troll can be activated multiple times. Okay. I mean, I'm obviously going to start blocking you now. I could play Thoralf. Yeah, I think excess blocker is better, and it gives me vigilance. Nice how he's suddenly dealing with like a 5 6 and a 6 6. Nice, that is exactly what I wanted. a trick all right it's exactly what I wanted because I wanted to draw cards This one doesn't have trample. I want snow land. I don't speak yet, he will be able to attack. Frost peak. Right. Sorry, Colvori, you're gone.
That was unnecessary. That's a weird thing to do. Oh, I see, okay. Okay, you're up one. I have unblockable next turn. Alright! Managed to eke out a win with this red, green, blue pile. If I manage to get squeeze out like two or three more wins out of this, it's gonna be a miracle. But at least I fulfilled my quest. I feel like my audience has already all gone to sleep. Which is fine. That's what I get for going double. For doubling up. Okay, uh... Huh. Yeah. I kind of want to get the pup. It's probably correct to get more lands. I mean, six mana for a recurring vault is a lot. It's kind of like Hammer of Bogardan. Oh wow, Cosmos Elixir. Alright, so basically we're racing now. Okay, we want to get our broken wings. That's going to be annoying. Oh wow, Cardbot was totally unhelpful here. You have to click the scryfall thing. Okay, watch this! We play a Death Toucher, equip the hammer. Oh, he can't do it yet. <laughs> My mistake. Damn Cosmos Elixir. I just did some work and suddenly all the cards are new. 
Yes, I'm sorry. I I, I drafted this three color pile. So annoying. Oh, it's not Death Touch. Damn it. Man, I'm doing so poorly. Now he's going to get to draw cards. No, the hammer deals the three damage. I, I, I thought the Fang Bearer would be dealing the 3 damage and not the hammer. So it was a non bow. So annoying. Okay, uh, how am I winning this? Do I attack with Death Toucher, dude? Or attack like this and see what happens. The problem is he's going to run away with the game because of the Cosmos Elixir. So annoying. The Elixir draws him extra cards. Okay, what? I'm going to block you. You have a trick. I'm going to block you with Death Touch, you do. Oh, there was no trick. I think he thought I was going to block with a big legendary person. But that's silly, why would I do that? Aha! So take these broken wings! Okay. This, this can attack freely, do you know why? Even though there's a 4-4. Four, four. I killed my changeling, rude. Okay, that one is a problem. Wait, I could have just thrown the hammer at him. Actually, I could have thrown the hammer at all of them. 
Okay, now I now I'm going to do the awkwardly kill each the smaller dudes with the hammer. Right now we can attack, maybe. Unless it's a trap. It was not a trap. What do you mean, why not the 3-3? Three, three? Why not attack with the 3-3? Three, three? This was a bigger creature. Treasure token. It uh, Basically, a treasure is it's a mana rock. It's a one-use mana rock. It's a lotus petal. You know what Lotus Petals are. Okay, um... Wait, no. Just start with this. Oh wow, I'm going to be able to squeeze a second win out of this? That's incredible. I'm already at 1-2 by the way. This ridiculous pile. Behold, surprise giant! Uh, boast this. Uh, you can activate the boast ability. After that creature attacks and once per turn. Okay, so we win off the giant group. Woohoo! Wow, I wonder if this is the longest I've been streaming for. I don't think it is. I'm almost at two and a half hours. You're still busy with work, tempered fury, or still working up to these off. Unholy R as well, no, it isn't unholy, it's like 9.30. Oh, wow. Ah. Huh. Okay, well, we can play things. Uh, okay, I'm not sure this is the best risk to take considering I'm one loss away from ending the draft. This uh, background pattern on the board is pretty nice. Okay, you are also foretell fore foretelling. No, dwarves! How dare you! Don't speak. Don't speak yet.
Okay, he's red, green, and white? Fancy! Okay, I wonder if he's going to try to attack with a 3-2. Not realizing there's a boat. Okay, he did not try to attack with a 3 -2. Okay, let's glimpse the cosmos and get some red. What is a carve? Raider's carve. Is that a term for a boat? I should have a bot here like that's like a dictionary. Is there a Twitch bot that's a dictionary? Sure, okay, sure. Okay. Don't play your land before the boasty attack. Boasty attack! Carve equals longship, apparently. Okay, it's an English word, or it's like... Uh, it might be like a Viking word. Okay, it's kind of a waste to do this. Let's keep our dudes alive. He's drawing the extra power. I'll allow it. Anyway, it looks like a Viking longship. Oh wow. Some kind of big angely dude. Okay, so basically it's just a flyer. You can exile your dwarf if you like. Oh no! That angel dude is going to be mining. So annoying. Right, rude, okay. Not wanting me to gain card advantage. Oh no. Hmm, that's a problem. I wonder how I'm going to kill this glorious protector. I'm not sure I can. Okay, first let's glimpse the cosmos. Okay, this is a problem. And in the boat. Ice. We have to find the solution to this glorious protector. Oh, I, I, I can broken wings him. That's right. But 
first I need to find the broken wing. to help me find the broken way. Okay, um, these are great cards to have, but the most urgent thing is to get the broken wings. So we'll send them to the bottom. Then we'll do this. Wait, no! <laughs> Damn it. If I kept the Demon Bolt on top, I could Demon Bolt then hammer next turn. That was dumb. Alright, good job, draw three cards. That's fine because it's killable by the hammer. Nice. Excellent. So, uh, we don't have enough mana to kill both. I'll just equip this now. Then we'll shoot the protector next turn. Why not shoot it during our turn? You know. Because he might move the pick to the other creature. Oh my god, amazing, I'm alive. an extra land possibly oh no uh, this is actually fine it's it we're at the point of the game where the extra mana and life from the plow doesn't really do anything
And when he when he activates it, we can we can actually throw the hammer at the plow. And we have emergency run ashore in case things start to go bad for us. Right. Yep, attacking this way should be safe. Smack you with the hammer. The hammer down again. Put it on the box. Wow, amazing. I actually eked out another win. Despite the terrible, the terribly ambitious draft deck. The hammer is super mana intensive, but once you get going, it's fine. I'm already reasonably happy with getting to three wins, but let's see how far we can push our luck. I want to put like uh, a trivia bot here on Twitch. My trivia bot. I'm going to have to learn how to make a Twitch bot. Not the best. At least we have three colors and a reasonable amount of mana. This is our already our top end, so we should be able to play most of the things that we draw. Right, both. We don't do anything. We foretell. I feel like I'm never going to use the artifact side of this. I hate that guy. No, I like him when he's on my side. That was just bad tapping for the Fortel. It's too bad the tapper can't anticipate what uh, things to cast you have after the ability being played. So it sometimes does things like double green for scavenging. Oh! Double spell! How dare you! 
Oh, okay. That's nice. Do this. He said he said she is a she? I think it's a she. She is a decent blocker. We're gonna be taking some damage from this rap for a while. Legend. Oh, okay. Uh, I will. I will trade with you. I accept this trade. Right, hammer boy. <laughs> I guess this is a good second spell combo if you have this Berserker and that Cleric. Kind of in peril. Kind of, just a little bit. If it attacks with all, I'll be taking eight, going to five. Yep. If it, if it were me, I would attack with all. So I'm gonna see if I can. Get rid of that dangerous imp. Okay, uh... Wait, I have... I need four to activate this. Block, block, block. Oh, I'm going to die no matter what. Yep, looks like this is the end of the line. 3-3 three, three was far, as far as I could take this abomination. E because we can block. Then throw the hammer, but we don't have enough to demon ball. Well, it really turned out better than I hoped it would, than I expected. Well, no, it's like the minimum of what I want. Three wins. It, it it's one of those scenarios where I was, um, where I fell victim to my rare drafting tendency. <laughs> Right, I think all my audience is asleep now. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for keeping company, especially during the first draft.
I I'll probably draft stream a draft again on Wednesday, maybe. We'll see. I was talking about writing a Twitch trivia bot earlier. Maybe I could actually um how do you say? I could stream uh stream the creation of the bot itself. Oh you're Alright. Checking our status. We got 30 plus packs. Okay, I want to get to at least 50 before I start opening. Alright. That's it for tonight. Thanks everyone for keeping me company. Like, subscribe, etc. Or you know, send me money somehow. I don't know how it works. Thanks for watching. Ending stream.